In this video, I'm going to show you how you could paint the Cadians from the 92nd Regiment. When I was looking through the Astra Militarum Codex, I saw a really nice colour scheme the Cadians were painted in. These turned out to be the 92nd Regiment, and the colours are really appealing and vibrant. But when I went looking to see how these could be painted, I couldn't find anything. Why hasn't anyone shown how to paint this colour scheme? I'm going to have to do it myself. These are the paints I'm going to be using in this tutorial. I'm using a spray undercoat of Raybone Spray First to help bring out all those vibrant colours. An alternative to this would be a Defgar Green Spray to help with all those greens you're going to be painting. It's totally up to you. I'm going to be batch painting these miniatures, but more on that later. I want to get some base colours down first, starting off with some Yushabti Bone for the tunics of the Guardsmen. When you're painting, it's better to thin your paints to prevent losing any details on your miniature. And I like to use an equal amount of water to do this. Keep your brush moving and try not to go over anywhere you've already painted. You're also going to have to paint multiple thin layers to get a nice solid coat. So let each layer dry and then paint another layer until you're happy with it. Next I use Kislev Flesh for the skin, a band and black for any boots, straps and equipment, and iron hand steel for any metallic details on the miniatures. I'm painting all the colours at the same time across the unit, rather than painting each model individually before moving on to the next one. This is called batch painting, and this is going to help speed things up and keep things looking more consistent throughout the unit. One of the guardsmen is holding a banner, so I got to work painting all the colours now before moving on to the next step. Go around the banner with your chosen colours, and try to be as neat as you can. Don't worry if you are a bit messy though, just wait until you've painted all the colours, and then neaten up any mistakes at the same time. I now want to give the miniatures some definition, which is going to start bringing out all those details. First of all, I use Rikon Flesh Shade as it is, and wash this over the skin. You don't need a lot. I also use the Rikon Flesh Shade in the more prominent folds of the tunics, leaving the shallower folds alone. I'm now going to dilute some Agrax Earth Shade with an equal amount of Lamy Medium. This is going to weaken the strength of the wash, stopping it dull the colours you've already painted. I'm putting down some kitchen paper because I know it's going to get messy. I'm going to use this wash on the whole miniature. You don't need a lot, just enough to cover your miniature comfortably. Too much can result in the wash pulling up in areas you don't want it to. If this does happen, then you can use your brush to soak up any excess wash you don't want. Then let the wash fully dry. Once everything is dried, I lay your shabty bone on the tunics to brighten them back up and clean up any messy looking areas. I also cleaned up the banner using the colours I painted with earlier. Now that I've done some cleaning up on the unit, I've decided to highlight the areas I've already painted. I'm doing this now so I can get them finished before I move on to the other details, but feel free to paint in whatever order you want to. I'm starting with Screaming School for the tunics, then I use Kids Left Flesh for the skin. Dawnstone for the black details, and finished off by highlighting the banner. You don't want to have a lot of paint on your brush when you highlight, and you want to keep the paint quite thin as well to prevent thick blobby lines. Take your time and work your way around painting all the edges and details you see. Highlighting can be stressful, but it's always worth it in the end. I'm now ready to paint all the other details of the guardsmen. Using Caliban Green I painted all the trousers of the unit. I then gave them a wash of Norn Oil, and then finished off with a highlight of Lauren Forest. It's finally time to paint the armour, and I use Elysium Green for this, always remembering that multiple thin layers are better. And once you've finished getting a nice solid colour on the armour, you can go ahead and paint the orange stripes that really make this colour scheme stand out. I'm using Best of Gore Flesh for the stripes, and I start by painting a line, marking out where I want the stripes to be. Then all you need to do is to thicken those lines out. You can use Elysium Green to tidy up and correct any mistakes if you need to. 
They don't have to be perfect, and it's okay if they don't match each other. And once you're happy with the stripes, highlight the armour using Ogren Camo. I want to finish the medic now, so I start by painting some of the armour and other details using Corax White. I then applied Apothecary White over these areas, lay it back up with Corax White again, and then finish with a highlight of White Scar. I then painted the symbols with Mephiston Red and Bestical Flesh for the highlights. The unit is nearly finished, I just want to paint the weapons, and because I chose a plasma gun, I start with a plasma glow so I don't have to worry about being messy. I start by painting a layer of Corax white. I then used Athematic Blue Contrast for the blue glow. Let that dry and apply it again, this time just on the lower half of the coils. And finish up by painting white scar into the recess around the plasma coils a couple of times to get that glowy effect. You now want to paint all the weapon casings with a bad and black. To highlight the weapons, start with a highlight of Baroroth Blue, just around the areas you have that plasma glow. And then Dawnstone for the rest of the weapon highlights. I personally think red weapons might look a lot better than the black weapons shown in the book. So if you want to paint them red, use Mephiston Red with a highlight of Fire Dragon Bright. And I almost forgot. To finish the armour, I used Agrax Earthshade to pick out all the panels and details on the Guardsman. And with that done, the Guardsmen are now finished, and I hope you can now go away and finally paint the Cadians from the 92nd Regiment. Also make sure you check out the other tutorials I've made on my channel, and there's more being added all the time. Thanks for watching my video, I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please leave a like. It'll show YouTube you enjoyed it and it'll be shared out to more people. I love making these tutorials so make sure you subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.